The incident of rape, what happened, we were at a party. It was a breaking up. I was invited by a guy um, called Hamad. I know him by Hamad, his name. Um, I was invited to the Alcombs, breaking up. So they had a breaking up party. So we came there, we had a lot of drinks, we danced, everything. So there we were. In this house party was this chick, this girl. So she had so a short piece of mini on. And she was all over me the whole night. Besides her, there's other girlfriends also, friends of mine that I only that I knew. She wouldn't even give them a chance to come sit by me or whatever. She was just all over me. And we had drinks and on top of drinks and on top of drinks. So we were all under the influence at the end of the night. And with that, we went up to the stairs. It's a, it's a mason at home, the staircase up. So she went up to the toilet, me and her went up together and we went into the room. So we did um, fray, we did fray, you know? And so afterwards, when she went to go lay on the, on the bed in the same time, we did first save romance and so on, whatever. And afterwards, with the laying of her on the bed, with the sword meaning her legs was open at the time. So obviously I didn't ask her, but to me it felt like body language. So that is the time where I, I took weird sex. That is the time where penetration started. But in the same time, not even after two minutes, where she stopped me and she said, this is not the way she wanted it. And so I stopped. I went a little bit on trying and forcing her. I mean, it's difficult for a man just to stop immediately. But so I stopped with the penetration, went to the toilet, and she went down. And this was in a house full of people. I mean, for any guy with the intention of raping someone, you almost never do something in a place <laughs> surrounded with people. You'd have tried to do it more privately, maybe try to drag her out of the house or get her somewhere else where you can go and do this thing. It was never in my intention doing the things. But then I got 10 years, the court sentenced me 10 years. Afterwards, she turned and went and was say that, yeah, I raped her. Even the next morning, still, so I went to go talk to her. We were in the same room, everything. She wasn't even afraid. I mean, from my point of view, in from, I don't know from your, what's your opinion or whatsoever, but if, if I would have done something like she said in how she mentioned it, she would have never, if ever would have sat in a place like me. If you mean, if you call someone a rapist, it's someone that's sick in his mind, he's not right, he's not functioning right. If I hear you correctly, if I just could paraphrase <coughs> what you say, you say, when you first saw her, you saw her with a mini. Mm. Yes. And that things and that mini sent the message to you. The next thing you say, she was all over me. Mm. You I could just start by paraphrasing what you were saying. <clears throat> that the first time when you saw her is when you realize when you pick up she got a mini on. Mm. Yes. The next thing you were saying that um, she was all over me. Those two important things, what is the message that you receive from having the mini on and she was all over me as you would say? The message she was giving to me was actually that, um, hey, this girl wants something, I will see. She is up, she's got something up to her sleeve because all my other friends, all the girls that I knew longer before her, that this was the first time I met, in the first time she met me that night also. So the message to me she was sending, and she didn't want one of them near me. The moment one of them got near me, she somehow struck them off. You, you said to me that um, 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 the message that she wants, by now, in the return of inspection, what was the thing that she was looking for, according to you? Obviously, for me, from my point of view, in my opinion, for any man would get other messages in his mind. I don't know 
from yourself, Mr. Dungus. Okay. From your perspective or your point of view. So what was the message that she was sending? What, what, if you could name it, give it the name. The C16. C16. Okay. Now you, you go up to her, um, you go up, and she was lying, she got a mini on. Yes. You didn't ask, there was no communication because you said, I did not ask because. We were fraying all the time. There was a romance, there was touching. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But in no ways did she agree to, to having sex with her. You, you, she was, she was, there was a foreplay. Mm. To and me, having to mini, uh, uh, the mini on and lying on the bed it gives uh, the signal by having romance and, and touching and feeling and having foreplay. You assumed that she's saying it's okay to have sex with yeah. me. Is that what you were saying? Yes. Okay. So now you, you, you penetrate. Yes. And, and after a minute or two, you say two minutes. She then realized, but I didn't give him permission. Then she said to you, stop. And, and you were saying, as a man, you can just don't only stop, like point blank. You then continue. For how long did you continue after she signaled and said to you, stop? Not even for, for a minute I went on. It could be a minute and less. Mm. So the moment that when she realized, then when she decides, I don't want this. So she gives an indication by communicating to him. Yes. How do you feel now, you know, hindsight of what happened that night? I regret I regret it. I regret every moment of it. If I can turn back that night and never would have ever bothered with her, then I would have done so. 